What is up guys? Welcome back to Near Replicant. I have returned from my work trip, which I'm not even sure if YouTube know that I, knows that I went on, but either way, I am back at it and let's keep going. Last time, what happened last time? Oh, um, we we, uh, we, re, we redid the, uh, the section where Emil goes off and blows up the area. Right. Okay. Well, let's get back into it then. I don't think there's anything different about that exchange either right there. Yet. Like, we didn't hear any additional conversation from the, uh, the shades there or anything. Maybe Popolis found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. I want to fight this thing first. Oh, that was that was brief. Okay. Wait, where's my boar at? Ooh, attack power plus twenty percent. Wait, what are we at? Fifteen percent right now? What am I using? Am I using? I'm using nameless blood. I think. Yeah. Yeah, fifteen percent. All right, upgrade. I don't even use the blade. I don't know why I put it on there. This is what I want right here. 20%. And then also my spear. Or wait a second. That was on the Kusanagi. We're using the Beast Lord. And then also the Spear of the Usurper. Oh, it has armor break on it. Never mind. All right, cool. So I believe the next thing that's going to happen is we are going to go to the sand area. And then after that, we'll go to um, the coast and deal with the uh, the tentacle girl octopus thing that shows up. Which I'm, I'm assuming both of those interactions are going to be different. We might actually get some backstory into why the wolves are so aggressive against uh, the people in the sand village. Which I'm kind of interested to hear about because there, there seems like there's something else going on there. Um, even more so than the little, uh, tentacle girl, which I'm assuming we'll hear more about her too, but I'm more interested to hear, hear about the wolf. I fear the next god, Bengal. <laughs> that was also a different loading screen prompt right there as well. Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, oh. right? Oh, all right. Well, apparently I forgot, but we must go to uh, Seafront first, then the... Uh, sand place well he's been skipping out on work lately can i ask you to go to seafront and check on him sure thing i almost called it ocean front but it's a sea not an ocean Red bag this man. feels alarmingly familiar. Ha. I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time. Hmm? Oh no, we're gonna get dragged into it for sure. Why am I the only one working? Let's see if we have any new weapons. Oh, he's a quest actually. Hey, you. Oh. Uh, yeah, Uncle. That's so. That's we we grabbed this quest last time. Sure, I one could hold. Well, axe of beheading is the only thing he has. Okay. Black. And we are slowly going broke because I've not done any side quests on this route yet. But I don't think we need to. So I'm pretty sure there's more than just an A and a B route based off the, even the loading screen. So 
We can make some more money later. Let's go, buddy. Good enough. So we know that the uh, the postman was taking care of this little girl, and she was eating the villagers. But I'm guessing there's there has to be more to that story, right? Ah, here we go. Yeesh. I don't think I've ever seen fog this thick before. Huh? What's that? So it was originally in the desert? Oh no, never mind. Just okay. Spooky ghost ship. Oh God, it's over. My life is over. What's wrong? Oh, hey, I remember you. You're the ones who helped us out way back when. Seeing as we've come all this way, I suppose we had best ask, what is the matter? I had a fight with my husband, and he ran away from home. Mm -hmm, yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. But it's all that idiot's fault. I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. That's actually sort of impressive. That is a fair amount of apples. Well, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, but... I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now, and it's... <laughs> all right, all right. We'll help you find him. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you so much. And here we go again. <sighs> Shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Yes, we shall, Vice. I went the longest possible way to get there, too. Hey there. I'm looking for the guy with the red bag. You seen him around lately? Really? Is that couple fighting again? Yeah, the guy took off and hasn't been seen since. I take it this isn't a surprise? Hardly. Their arguments are legendary. We're actually considering selling tickets as a tourist attraction. Anyway, I think he's from that village with the library. Maybe he went back home. I think his brother is a guard there or something. Thanks for the tip. I'll see what I can figure out. Say, you're pretty handsome. Care to buy a lonely woman a drink? It would be kind of funny if I gave you the option this time. Yeah, I'm good. Hard to believe a ship of this size managed to run aground. Hmm, what was that? Hey, is someone there? Okay, I definitely heard someone cough just now. Maybe it's one of those kids from town? But where are they? Wonder why she doesn't eat him. doing here kid and who are you anyway were you a passenger on this ship maybe hey it's okay you don't need to be scared oh uh, they make friends okay I mean I guess he did say before that he was taking care of her so that makes sense
To think that couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. Oh, Grimoire Vice. You know you like them. You're just having a hard shell. So when does the feeding begin? <laughs> hey there. How are you feeling? Um, well, your cough seems better at least. Check it out. I brought you some bread today. <laughs> oh, easy there. Jeez, you must have been starving. Well, look, no one's gonna take this from you, so just take it easy so you don't choke on it, okay? So, what were you doing on this boat, kid? Actually, scratch that. First things first. I can't just keep calling you kid. You got a name? Well, this is going nowhere fast. Let's see. Louise. Yeah, what about Louise? I mean, it just sort of popped into my head, but what do you think? <laughs> Guess you're okay with it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Louise. All right. Giant tentacle shade is Louise. Now we know. Searched the southern plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. Lots changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know. Hope, I guess. If you asked me, that particular couple could benefit from a little change. Seems like we were hitting these things a lot harder than we were before. So I wonder if on this route the enemies have the same amount of health. They, they must have because all of the bosses have been super easy up to this point as well. Like in terms of like the damage we do just like completely blows them away. Now we are playing on normal but I still kind of figured the, uh, the difficulty would kind of go up. In the uh, when you go through consecutive routes you know. I asked Devil of Hooch tastes good. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you. You're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah, he's my little brother. Haven't seen him in a while, though. A shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to? Not a clue. Like I said, I haven't seen him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but the last time I did see him, he said something about using his ferry to deliver letters. Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be solved <laughs> in the general vicinity of the Arsenal. Oh, it wouldn't be an RPG then, Vice.
I still can't get over how his dialogue is so top tier. I'm, I've said that probably way too many times throughout this playthrough, but it's just so good. I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's all right to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. Uh, sadly it is. But we'll fight some enemies in between just to, just to break up the running. And one day I will learn to parry in this game, or get better at it at least. I know how to do it, I just don't ever do it. You say there, lad, have you ever penned a missive? You mean a letter? No, I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. What's to figure out? One simply takes Quill in hand and unleashes their soul upon the canvas of the page. Whatever you say, Ice. I find it interesting that he says that, but like we have like references in all the loading screens that Yona does get letters from him. So he must, he, I mean, he said right there he doesn't write them, but he does write them according to the loading screens. Unless the person she gets letters from is actually the Shadow Lord, which is actually us anyways. Which would be very interesting if that's what that turns out to be. It probably is nothing but like just me speculating. They probably will never even talk about it again. That's a very appropriate loading screen. Hey there, Louise. Say, where'd you get that red bag? Found it on the ship, did you? <laughs> you kids are so darn curious about everything. Anywho, it's good to see you. Afraid I don't have any bread today, but I did bring you something. I mean, he maybe should have dug into that question a little bit more. He would know that the, the red bag guy was in town. Like, he knows this man. Here, it's a ribbon. Let me tie it in your hair for you. Well, what do you think? Pretty nice, huh? Huh, what's that on the floor? Oh shit. Oh, it's a mirror. Oh. Well, that's a stroke of luck. Let's go ahead and check out your new look. If you go over there where it's brighter, you'll be able to see yourself more clearly. But, uh, what's wrong? Don't you want to see? Oh, I see. You don't like sunlight. Guess your eyes are pretty sensitive after spending all this time in the dark, huh? Very oblivious. <laughs> well, it's not like we can have you stay here forever. We should work on getting you out of here so you and me can go look at the sea together. How's that sound? Are we heading over to the... Nope. Go talk to the postman. He won't be there, I believe. And then we're going over to the shore. Hey, postman. Oh, sorry. You're not him. I'm sure as hell not. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. That's one way to get a job. Anyway, you here for a package or something? Uh, no. There's this couple who's always fighting and the husband took off. So I'm trying to track him down. Ring any bells? <laughs> Sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Still, that's pretty weird. 
My buddy's daughter took off too. Maybe running away is the cool thing to do now. I find it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I bet she went to check out the huge shipwreck that drifted into the inlet the other day. Not often something like that comes around. It's all the kids have been talking about. Hint, hint. Hey, Louise, I brought your food for today. Okay, so the uh, the sepia toned images must have been like a flashback. So this must be present day right now. What's wrong? Aren't you hungry? Huh? You haven't been eating much lately. Are you okay? <laughs> well then, let's try this. Is he playing an instrument right now? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It's called a song. Humming a jaunty tune is the best thing for putting a spring in your step. Songs are like a little bit of wisdom that makes the tough times easier. I love them personally. I mean, not that I'm any good at singing. Oh, your voice is a bit rough there, but you're actually pretty good. Huh. You know, I knew someone who lived in the town lighthouse before she died. She used to hum this same song a lot. I heard it every time I stopped by to deliver something, and I guess it just kind of stuck. Of course, that was quite a while ago. <laughs> Hey, are, are you trying to cheer me up? <laughs> you are a kind soul, Louise. Who's eating people? Now, it makes sense that he would be kind of oblivious to all of it. I mean, he's treating her like a daughter. And so, I mean, he's never going to look at it through that lens. I'm sensing some really weird magic going on here, sunshine. You feeling it too? Oh shit. Teron's speaking up again. Yeah. Is it a shade? <laughs> Are you actually trying to think something through rather than just jumping in and killing? What's wrong, Kaine? Nothing. It's just I'm sensing a presence from seafront. Something like a shade. A shade in the town? That's not good. Oh yeah, don't we like meet them at the shipwreck randomly? I feel like that's what happens. And that's so that that would have been a little little piece of information we didn't have last time we went there. Shipwreck, is it? I suppose we might as well investigate, seeing as how we lack any other tenable leads. Right. Let's head for the inlet. I think that's back this way? Yeah, here we go. Kinda. Emil. What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. Sorry for the surprise. Kinda said she sensed something strange in the area. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. I'm not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information <laughs> the hussy has graced us with. <laughs> what is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. There she blows. The beached shipwreck. We're going to need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. 
This ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. These planks seem to be covering a rather large hole. We can probably get in if we move them out of the way. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside. Uh, yes. Let's do it. Again. Blood. So, were you able to write that letter? Please tell me he notices the blood on the floor. You know, now that I've taught you how. Not yet, huh? Well, there's certainly no reason to rush. <laughs> you know, it makes me happy that you've taken such a shine to me. First time we met, I didn't have the foggiest idea what was going on in that head of yours. <laughs> so, hey, I've been thinking. How about you come live with me? It might be kind of nice to have a daughter around. Not into it, huh? Guess I should have figured. I'm sad to hear it, but it's your choice, of course. Huh? The floor's wet. Wait, is this blood? Oh dear. Are you. Oh, baby, that is one hell of a smell. We got something real nasty nearby, eh, Sunshine? <sighs> Come on, don't tell me you ain't picked up on it yet. You of all people gotta know what this smell means. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you sure you're all right, Kanye? You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kaine. Let's get the lead out. So, yet again, the postman makes an excuse for the little shade girl. This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. But before the search begins, we're going to wrap up right here before we get into this next little segment. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.